All right, let's, uh, I can't is there anybody else on the uh, panel that wants to weigh in on this issue? I guess the number of cats. Keith, Keith you're, you're next, and the gentleman is right. the uh, um, Organizing unemployed is a multi-dimensional, multi-pronged problem. Um, Manny and I organized the unemployed in New York in the early 90s, and I've organized the unemployed in Baltimore and also in New Jersey. And I would say that one of the main lessons uh, that I would put forward is that uh, nothing happens unless the unemployed themselves get organized and don't rely on uh, the unions, com other community groups, uh, things happen when the unemployed themselves um, go into political action. Um, you know, you organize the unemployed, you need to do everything that people here have talked about, from service type stuff to support groups uh, to political action, meaning lobbying. I didn't catch the first presentation, so, if, you know, I, I, um, but direct, direct action, you know, direct action. Uh, John in Philadelphia, uh, I, I think that a little bit that what gets lost in your presentation is how did you get some of those things? You were at the offices, you were demonstrating, you were creating a social uh, upset. Um, people have to be willing to do that and the unions um, are not gonna take the lead. I was in a steel workers union uh, in Baltimore <coughs> in the early 80s. Uh, we were laid off. We had a fight to get our own union to actually set up a food bank, it's a, the, even the service stuff and then to get Steelworker Union to support actual political advocacy was another battle itself. So to me, the main lesson uh, uh, in terms of organizing is that um, unless the unemployed themselves, both union and non-union, are mobilized to be visible, to be public, to be in the face of these agencies and institutions, um, that the rest isn't gonna happen. It also means stepping on a lot of toes. And um, it means that, uh, you know, the Democrats are sometimes the toes you're gonna have to step on. Uh, the Republicans are an easy target, but if you uh, pull your punches on it, uh, you're not gonna wind up getting what's needed. Um, obviously, the, the problem of unemployment is a major colossal problem in a capitalist society, but at the same time, you can win real gains. We did, we did. Um, in Philadelphia, they did, we, elsewhere. Um, so the main thing about the unions is nobody should assume or expect that the unions will take the lead, take the initiative, it will always be in response to the activity of the unemployed. Our original strategy was to come and organize, we started back in the 70s to go to the unions and build unemployed councils locals. That didn't work. And in fact, one of the district directors of the Steelworkers told me, he said, we'd be crazy, we'd be organizing opposition to our own leadership, and we're not going to do that. So, I mean, that's, there's, you know, not that that drives everybody. There are good, a lot of good union folks, but I do believe that the unemployed do have to have an independent voice. And, and the labor movement is an extremely strong ally for us, and I think it's really important, but there needs to be an independent movement, I think, also. They also on the panel want to respond to that. When you did do a direct action, was it with, I just thought it was baseball. Yeah. Which, what, what, what was your demand? Um, <clears throat> well, I mean, we were, we were really focused around what, what brought us together was this, this attempt to gain publicity and gain exposure for the, the fact that people were unable to find work after the 99 weeks. And, and you know, so we were, we were always really, our main aim was to, to try and get some kind of funding for uh, additional weeks. And, and who did you uh, have that action against? Well, uh, one, I was going to mention one of the things that, that's been a little bit uh, tricky about this uh, in recent times is uh, people don't go to the unemployment, you know, unemployment offices. So, mm -hmm. so one of the main sources of doing direct contact with people is, is basically uh, taken out of the equation. All, all, m most of our members were just we're always just getting basically a cash card refilled online, you know. So it was it was uh, very difficult to actually get people into physical proximity with each other. However, when you did have problems, you would go to the Department of Labor um, uh, down on Barrack Street. So that was where we did the action. Um, there are still unemployed people who have to go there. It's just greatly reduced numbers. It's really only when you have to 
uh, finagle some detail of your of your uh, claim. 